In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up webhooks in the Contentful CMS so that we can create a build automation workflow. The idea of this workflow is that every time someone publishes new content from the CMS, that is going to trigger a new build in GitLab CI for our Gatsby static website. At the end of this workflow, our static website is going to reflect the new content published from the CMS. Every time someone publishes new content or removes existing content from the CMS, a webhook is going to be executed by calling an endpoint in GitLab that is going to trigger a GitLab CI pipeline. So GitLab CI is going to build our static website in Gatsby and our Gatsby application is going to get the content changes from the Contentful Delivery API. I'm going to share and recommend three videos here that I published some weeks ago so that you can get a complete understanding of this workflow. I'm going to leave the links here. The first is an introduction to Contentful CMS, so you learn how to create content and how its content delivery API works. In this second video, I show you how to consume the Contentful delivery API from Gatsby. And finally, in this video, I show you how to automate builds for a Gatsby static website with GitLab CI pipelines, deploying this Gatsby website to GitLab pages. Now let's get started by setting up a trigger URL in GitLab CI pipelines. This is the GitLab repo where we have our Gatsby application. And here we have the GitLab CI pipeline definition within this file. And here we have all the different steps in order to build and publish our Gatsby static website. For example, here we have the different commands such as npm install or Gatsby build here. And here we have the pipelines running. One way to trigger this pipeline is by pushing changes in the repo and also of course having this GitLab CI file with the pipeline definition. Another way is by setting up a webhook URL. So we are going to set up that URL now. So first we need to go to settings, CI CD, and here we need to go to pipeline triggers. And here I'm going to add a new trigger. This is going to give me the URL that I need to set up in Contentful. So I'm going to call this Gatsby build. And now I'm going to click on add trigger. And this is going to generate a token that I need to pass in the URL like this. And I need to use as a ref name, I need to use the branch that I want to use in order to run the pipeline. So I'm going to grab the URL and the token from here, and I'm going to set up the webhook in the Contentful CMS. Now we are going to set up the GitLab webhook in the Contentful CMS, and then we are going to test the build automation workflow. This is Contentful's administration panel. Here we have our content model. Basically here we have a content type that we created that is bands with these four fields, identifier, the name of the band, the genre of the band, and the website of the band. And here we have the content. Here we added three bands, Foo Fighters, Ramones, and Metallica. And this is the data that we are showing in our Gatsby website. So here we have the three records, Fighters, Ramones, and Metallica. Let's go back. And now let's set up the webhook so that if we add a new band here and we publish that band, it's going to be published here. So we need to go to settings and we need to go to webhooks. And here we need to click on add webhook. Here I'm going to assign a name to the webhook. I'm going to call it GitLab CI trigger. And now I'm going to grab the URL from the GitLab CI dashboard here. I'm going to paste the URL here. I'm going to grab the token. I'm going to paste it here. And I need to replace this ref name with the branch that in our case is GitLab-CI. So I'm going to grab this from here and I'm going to paste that in here. So this is the URL that we need to call in order to trigger the GitLab CI pipeline from the Contentful CMS. And here we need to specify what are the type of events that we want to use in order to trigger this webhook. So I'm going to select publish and unpublish events for entries. I'm going to use the default environment that is master. And here I need to select this option. And here we can customize the payload. I'm going to keep the default payload and I'm going to save this webhook. Okay, our webhook is ready. 
And here we're going to have a log. So we're going to see different entries every time that we publish or unpublish content. Okay, now let's publish new content so we can test this webhook. So let's go to content. And now I'm going to click on add band. Let's add some identifier. Let's say five. And the name of the band will be the Beatles. The genre will be rock. And the website will be www.thebeatles.com. I'm going to click on publish. And if we go to webhooks here, settings, webhooks. And as we can see here in the activity log, we get a 201. So the webhook was successfully executed and the GitLab CI pipeline has been triggered. So if we go to the pipelines and we refresh here, we should see, yes, the pipeline running. As we can see here, the pipeline is running. And let's take a look at the logs. We can go here to the first step of the pipeline. And here is going to build and publish the new changes here. So now it's going to run the different commands of the pipeline. It's going to run npm install. It's going to download all the packages and dependencies. After that, it's going to build the Gatsby website. This is going to take a few minutes. And as we can see here, it's going to fetch the data from the Contentful Delivery API. It's going to build the production JavaScript and CSS bundles. It's going to build the static HTML for pages. It's going to perform the GraphQL queries to render the components. And as we can see here, the shop succeeded. So now if we refresh this website, we should see the Beatles in this list. So I'm going to refresh this. And as we can see here, we have the Beatles as part of this list. Now I'm going to unpublish a content and we're going to see that it's going to be removed from here. So I'm going to unpublish Ramones. So let's go back. Let's go to content. I'm going to select Ramones and I'm going to click on unpublish. So if we go to settings, webhooks, and if we go here to the activity log, here we have another entry here. We also get a 201. If you go to the details, we have that it successfully submitted that event. So if we go back to the GitLab CI pipeline, let's go back to shops. And as we can see here, we have the new pipeline running. This is going to remove the band, actually Ramones from the list. Let's go and let's take a look at the logs. And as we can see here, it's going to, again, it's going to regenerate the website. It's going to build the website, the HTML. It's going to query the Contentful Delivery API. The shop succeeded. So now if I refresh here, we should see the Ramones removed from the list. Yes. So here we have the three bands, the Beatles, Foo Fighters, and Metallica. That are the three records that are published here. Here we have the Beatles, Foo Fighters, and Metallica. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,